Let's start with the enforcers. Eh? What can you tell us about the enforcers? Yeah, I mean, I think the key words are ruthless, surgical and unforgiving, which is great. And, you know, we all know they're super armoured troops. But what does it mean? Well, I mean, there's, the, if you're looking at the army as, as a whole, I think the, the key thing around the enforcers is really their, the mobility. Yeah. You know, so a lot, of the, uh, you know, the lot of the army has got anti-grav, which means they don't really care much about terrain or up to a particular height anyway, or other enemy units. They'll just go over, they'll go where they want to go. Um, so they can't <laughs> stop them. <laughs> exactly. Um, so they're highly mobile in that in, in that regard. You know, the, the enforcers will get to where they want to go quickly, um, and then the enemy will pay dearly for them <laughs> then taking it off of them. I think one of their their most powerful strategic orders, um, and these are the things which give. I was going to say, a strategic yeah. order is the thing that doubles down on what they do. Yeah, it's it's the army flavour. So every, every army's got these strategic orders, which is kind of their theme. Um, their most powerful one is called Go, Go, Go. Um, that allows them to, any unit, to sprint um, and then still be able to shoot afterwards. Yeah. Normally, if you sprint, you can't. Course, um, yeah. So, you know, they, they can get around and, and put the firepower down when they want it. Yeah, I think that, I think with each army, there's... there's It's the combination as well. So they're super mobile, yep. but then they've got these super long-range command, high tactician values. Yeah. So not only getting there, you can't stop them. They can command the army yeah. uh, all across the board. And I think those command ranges are a, are a big factor in armies. Yeah, absolutely. So if you, if you haven't got that coverage, you can't execute those tactical and strategic orders. So, you know, you're, you're limiting your, your, your ability there. Um, and that extended range also helps them uh, in the end phase, clearing pin markers and stuff as well. So, and they've got a, they've got a, and they've got a good nerve too. So they're, you know, they're, they're, they're hard to, hard to pin down. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's that all round balance with them. Yeah. Yeah. And then the enforcers have all round balance, but particular super quick movement, solid shooting, units that do each type of thing quite well. You know, there's speed and guns, these are um, assaulting and yeah. no, not brilliant at anything, but solid at all of it. Yep. And as long as you use your units right, you're going to make a mess of anyone you're coming up against. Yeah. And yeah. then can I talk about the... Uh, the, the, the yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> because, because the thing that I think adds a whole other level to the game are these super hobbies. Yeah. And we put them up there and these are the things that just double personifies each army and the Dracon Cruiser... I forget all the rules, but I mean, they get orbital deployment, yep. which means which means they can uh, they can basically go into reserve and then they can just land anywhere that, where they want on the table. I mean, they might scatter a bit, yeah. but, uh, but, but 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 this guy's got um, an ability to reduce that amount of scatter, so you, you're pretty you're pretty sure where yeah. you're going to land. So totally owns that kind of like when we say they want to go there, that's where they're going. Good yeah. luck yeah. stopping them. There's massive cruisers coming out of the sky as they're coming down. They're firing their burst lasers. Yep, two banks of burst lasers. Two yep. banks of burst lasers were like that. Um, they're going to uh, add some command dice just so they can really can do exactly what. They they want to your command pool yep. yep and to finish it off um they're just going to dump a load of troops right into the middle of one of the strategic points uh, where they land yeah norm normally a unit can only carry one other unit uh, yeah. the dracon can carry two units they could be all assault troops and it's an assault ship so anyone if any units if disembarking from it and attacking get a bonus to attack when they when they disembark as opposed to you would normally get a bit, a bit of a negative one yes. here. So, yes. yeah. so it's a double, so double quite win. Nasty. Yes. So if, if that's not ruthless, surgical and unforgiving, I don't know what it is. Because <laughs> orbital deployment, burst lasers, command dice and straight into assault. Oh, yes. So that sounds like the enforcers might be, uh, might be one to choose. Yeah, well, you're not seeing <laughs> yeah. the Forge Files yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>